Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and here we're going to uh, vi visit our next part of our tutorial which is doing our visit count, um, our posted date, displaying this, and of course we can do our comment count as well. So if you go to our current page, we just have the view post and we know that the comments are getting updated in the database but we don't actually see it here. So um, uh, if we, uh, and, and then the reason I'm getting that error is because um, I think it's something to do with uh, switching the pages to fresh before our form is properly submitted. I'm not too sure, but I'm not trying to fix small problems in uh, Laravel right now. We're just trying to get the core functionality of the microblogging platform going. So basically we're going to display the visit count, display the date, time, and display the um, comment count so that we can do the sort uh, function in our last video. So this will most likely be our second to last video or I might have a third video showing you how to um, after you logged in. Uh, I haven't uh, made, let's see if I go to uh, manage blog posts. I haven't made the functionality for the edit and delete button so um, I will do those. Uh, so I might have maybe three videos left Two, maybe two videos after this one. Uh, so um, so be on the lookout for those. That's probably where we're heading uh, in terms of our videos and the conclusion of this uh, tutorial. And I have an exciting next tutorial that I will be hosting in JavaScript after this. So stay tuned for that. But uh, this tutorial will be uh, almost, it's almost done. So um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's, uh, let's go back to our page that we have here. This is the one that I haven't edited yet. And then we have our 15 or so posts ordered by um, who knows what it's I think it's ordered by a uh, post ID number. So it's ordered also post ID is also equivalent to post uh, post date. But um, we're also going to display the date and then we're going to um, organize it by the created at date functionality of Laravel. So Let's uh, let's get straight to it. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, vi the not the visit the comment count here. So we want to go to um, view po no we want to go to I think home blade uh, PHP yeah here we're gonna go um, br tag and then uh, comment count is equal to uh, post. I think it was comment count. I think that was it. Whoops. Refresh. There you go. Comment count eight two zero zero zero. If we add one here. Wait. Why isn't this one one? Oh right. It didn't update because the page hadn't updated. So you have to reload the page to actually make a count. So if you go down here, the tenth uh, post here. If you go here, and uh, this is the first comments so delightful all right so delightful okay and uh, if we refresh this page and then wait one second because the set timeout is set to 1000 milliseconds and then i don't know why this error is popping up again i'm not going to finish it i'm not going to fix it so uh comment count one so there we go we have our comments counting now we have to do the uh we have to do the post date count so to do that, we are going to go here and we're going to say p whoops post created at and then we're going to say um, we're going to say let's see um, we have to do post created at and we have to wrap this around two parentheses and it's going to be a string to time and it's just the format of what Laravel is showing you so if you want to check out what it is just well I could I could show you I could I could show you right now so if I do this go back here whoops not this one go back here that's the date that Laravel gives you so if we do I think if we do string to time, let's see what that gives us. Okay, so that gives us this timestamp, which is what we want. Why does Laravel give us a date functionality in a different format and not a just pure timestamp? I don't know. Just in my opinion, it just makes things more confusing. But 
of course, the people at Laravel headquarters are allowed to do whatever they want, so we just have to play by the rules. So anyways, string to time, post created at, and um, here we have to say uh, date, date, and um, we're gonna say F, D, Y. I, I don't, I, I pre-wrote wrote a lot of this code and you don't have to memorize. Like if you're a programmer, please, please don't go around trying to memorize the date time functionality. It is a complete waste of your time. Just when you need it, just go Google it. It's all there for free. Don't don't try to like feel like you need to memorize something like this. It's just a complete waste of your time. So just focus on your programming. Don't I just I, I hate seeing people memorize things that's not gonna be as useful for them and date time functionality is just something I wanna reference and you just don't wanna expend headspace towards something that's not gonna help you become a more profitable programmer. So anyways, uh, F D Y and if we go back here it's December 31st, 20, 2016. That's when I was posted. So this tutorial has been going on for a while. And we're gonna say at, and we're gonna copy and paste this. So we're gonna copy and paste this. And instead of FDY, we're gonna say um, GIA. So that's gonna give us the hours so at 8.57 a.m. All right, so now that we have that, we have to do the visit count. So the first thing we have to do is we have to, um, if we go here and if we go to posts, uh, we want to um, go have something at uh, created at. We have created at common camp we have we want to have visit count so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, command line and we're going to say uh, p oops let's go to cd block 2 and php artisan make uh, I think it was no not yeah make migration add visit count column I'm just copying it from above. I just did this. Uh, I did. I just did the practice run like two minutes ago. So two blocks table, not not table, not blocks table. Post table, table posts. I think that was it. If I go back here, so I got the post table and post table. So let's go this and uh, let's say create and we're just gonna I'm just gonna copy this what uh whoops that's not what I want go over here go back here copy this go back here whoops copy and paste all right so we're gonna do visit count visit count visit count and I think that's it so if I go PHP artisan migrate and if I go refresh the page visit count or right, visit count is completed that's exactly what we want so uh, next what we want to do is we want to actually uh, if we go to view post um, we have eight comments, but we want to have the visit count. So what we're going to do is that actually very, very simple. So this is probably the easiest way to program. We already programmed a form here in our viewpost.blade.php form. We have a form, and I think this should be changed. Let's just uh, let's let's. I don't know why that's. Whoops. Get it undo that display none so we can just see what's going on there so we have eight here right so what we have to do is we have to um, go back we have to go back to this form and we're going to add an input here so we're going to input input type text uh, value is going to be whoops value is going to be post visit count so if we now refresh the page refresh 
it's zero right here. So what we want to do is we want to go down to our JavaScript and in our set timeout function, uh, we're just going to say, uh, let, let's see, let, let visit count is equal to document get element by ID value and the ID we haven't created an ID yet so here we're going to create an ID so ID is going to um, be post visit count All right post visit count so we're going to say post visit count value and then okay let visit count post visit count value and uh let's see post visit count value and then we have to say uh let visit count plus one is equal to parse int. and the reason why we do parse int is because currently the the value that we get here is not an integer it's a string value so we want to convert that into a integer so parse int um, parse int visit count and then we want to plus one and then we want to go document get element by id and we want this id again once again oops so copy this, copy this, and then we want to say um, value is equal to visit count plus plus one. And if we go back here, refresh the page, it should say one. Changes to one. Okay, there you go. Changes to one. So now, if we submit the form, it's automatically getting serialized. So we just have to go to the post controller. And here we have to say uh, under update we have to go visit count is equal to request visit count I think that's it let's just double check uh, the form if we go back to the form it is and we don't have any name so name visit count and uh, visit count okay and then post visit count is equal to visit count and then automatically save. So if we now refresh this page, it should say one here somewhere. Yeah, there you go, it says one right there. So now if we refresh the page again, it should say two. So refresh here, it should say two. And if I do it one more time, refresh. And of course it changes three here. And then if I refresh in the database, it says three. So now we want to uh, hide the form again. So we want, let's go to uh, hide the form, style, display, none. And I'm just doing just random CSS. You want to, um, of course, you want to better organize your files. This is a micro application, so I'm not too concerned about the files right now. So uh, right now we have visit count four. One more time. Whoops. Refresh the page. Let's refresh the page. Yeah, visit count five. All right. So now that we have that, the visit count, we actually want to display it on the home page as well. So let's go to uh, home.blade.php and let's go p visit count is equal to post visit count all right so now that we've done that yeah we have the visit count whoops if we go back home we have the visit count five visit count zero let's go to this page and then this should be one now if i refresh the page again it should be two go back home Visit count five, visit count two. All right, so there we go. We have we now have the visit counts updated, and we can uh, properly count how many times a page has been visited, and we can sort by that. So uh, I will uh, show you guys how to sort by that, um, and also I'm going to delete the top ten liked posts because I'm not going to do that. So let's go to home.blade.php and. Um, uh, Top 10 most recent blogs. I think where was it? It was I think it was layouts. Layouts public homepage.template. So here 
I'm going to go to here, top 10 most liked posts. This one's going to uh, be faded out, refresh the page. So, okay, so we're only gonna do these do these three, and I think I had one error. Yeah, we have blog post number one, blog post number three. I think everything's fine. Okay, so everything's working. So uh, that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I put a decent amount of time trying to make these uh, tutorials. So I hope these are helpful for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.